when we think about Jeep design, I really have two different elements to choose from. One, on one end, I've got uh, Wrangler, which is really traditional, boxy, square. And on the other end, it's more urban, uh, refined shapes of the Grand Cherokee. Uh, the new Cherokee fits in between. It's, it's got to do both of those. And when we did the design of the body of it, uh, really, there's it's split in two. The, the lower half uh, is very rugged. The, the lower cladding, the wheel openings, the approach and departure angles had to be taken into account for off-roading like this. But then the upper part of the car is very sleek, very very aerodynamic and efficient looking. Uh, that, was, that was the debate going on in there uh, to really move this into the future, move it, move it forward, but still have that off-road credibility that the, uh, the Jeep's gotta have. Uh, for the new 2014 Cherokee, really we went quite a bit more modern with it uh, and some of that's functional, some of it's just a desire to move the vehicle, move the narrative farther into the future. Um, for the real traditional side of Jeep, that's really handled now with the advent of the four-door Wrangler, having the Unlimited out on, on the market is really that square boxy uh, shape. For the Cherokee, we wanted it to be much more modern, much more efficient. And if it's the vehicle is going to be efficient, it's got to it's got to communicate that through the sheet metal. So the designers worked really hard to make a, a, a super slick uh, Advent or uh, Cherokee, but also have all the functionality of a Jeep. And that's those are two almost opposing goals at times. Um, when we did this vehicle, we, we did sort of a range of mild to wild imagery and our management really supported us going farther and going much more futuristic with it. Uh, really, there's a lot of Grand Cherokee to this vehicle, but it had, has to be its own uh, member of the family. Uh, classic elements like the seven slot grill which we have on all Jeeps, the, the trapezoidal wheel arches, which we've always had from day one. But then combine that with, really, this vehicle doesn't have a corner on it. Uh, it's very it's very sleek and, and slick. Uh, we we uh, moved the lights around. Actually, the headlights are down lower here. And the Trailhawk, that, which this model is, much more aggressive approach angle to it. Uh, those are the sort of the functional elements combined with the beautiful sheet metal to it. Um, Mixing those two was really the challenge in this program, uh, and it came out really beautiful. Hopefully, if we're doing it right, uh, the reason you buy a Jeep is you've got to, you want to lead a certain lifestyle. Um, that lifestyle includes getting outside and enjoying the outdoors, uh, going places and seeing things that you can't get to in another vehicle. Uh, whether you actually do that or not is up to you, but that's the, the premise of Jeep, uh, that I can get you to places you've never seen before, a place that you're not going to get to in a, any other vehicle, that we, we build that capability into the vehicle, uh, even, if, even if the jungle you're, you're driving in is the urban jungle downtown. Um, it's important to us that, that you use the vehicle as, as intended like that. Um, to put the capability in there. We'll, we'll always do that. Whether or not the customer really demands that or not, we're gonna do it.